Hey guys, um, welcome back to another quick informed video. So today I'm actually talking about um, USPS, FedEx, and uh, UPS. So right now, as we know, it's Christmas time, and everybody's getting you know stuff from either sent from a loved one or just buying stuff from Amazon, like I said, or even Best Buy, whatever. Anybody that's an online retailer, they ship now to your home. So what happened today is my wife was leaving to work and uh, she's like, hey, did you order anything? There's a package out here. I got to go. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll check it out when I wake up. Checked it out. So I'm hiding the postage because it has the address. I don't want you to creep on anybody. <laughs> um, but it did not have my name on it. It said something else. I think it said Doug or something. I'm not a Doug. <laughs> I'm Eddie at best, you know. So, no. Um, you that's not mine. So uh, I checked the address. There's two addresses, of course. It said ship to. I checked that address on Google, and it's the post office. So shipped to the post office, and then delivered to um, an address that says that it's not this address. So, but the funny thing is, it's the same uh, street number. So 2819 and 2819. So the street is wrong. The street's totally wrong. Um, my street is not the street that it's posted on there. That street is a street um, ahead of mine. So I don't know if they just said, oh, 2819, and boom, there you go. Uh, they dropped it off. No, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. But I could do two things. I could, you know, uh, I want to talk to you guys too because I really don't know what to do. Either I'm going to open this puppy up and get whatever's in there because, I mean, that messed up. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to refund the money back to the guy. But, you know, it's it's the holiday season. So I, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to be the Grinch. It's still sealed up, so I don't even know what's in there. I mean, there could be anything in there. I mean, gold, I don't know. You know, it does weigh quite a little bit. So there could be car parts or just like I said, let's say his mom sent him something for Christmas time. He wants to get that, you know, so I'm not going to be Grinch. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and, I mean, I could either take it back to the post office and be like, hey, this is not my address. Or, I mean, the street is, like I said, ahead of mine. I could just go ahead and deliver it. So I think I will just deliver it. I'll make sure there's no dogs or anything like that. Because I don't want to get bit or anything. You know, trying to be a good Samaritan. So I'll just go ahead and knock and make sure. I'm like, hey, is there a dog in this house? If there is. I'll be like, here's your package, man. Got delivered here. Um, and I think that's the best thing to do, honestly. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, like I said, you know, karma. I don't want if my package got delivered somewhere else. And I mean, it tells them too. So, you know, if I buy something from Amazon, I'll say, hey, your package got delivered, you know. And most of the times, you don't even have to sign for it. So, they just drop it off. And, I mean, it is, pers personally, I think it's the mail, like, let's say the post office fault for delivering it. I mean, if you guys know their street sign, so if it says some other street and you're on another street, it's not the same street, you know. Okay, the numbers are correct. I mean, there's another 2019 behind me, and that's a different street name as well. So, I mean, I don't know what happened there, but... Yeah, guys, um, hopefully, you know, you have a Merry Christmas, be a good Samaritan, uh, either take it back to the post office, say it got delivered wrong, or, I mean, if it's, if, I mean, if you want, you can deliver it to the person, that's where I'm going to do it, and we'll go from there, so, yeah. So, like I said, guys, I'm going to keep my word, and I'm going to go deliver it, so, there it is, there's a package, I'm going to go deliver it, like I said, it's uh, just on the other street, and, um, yeah, so, I'm just going to drop it off there, and no if nobody answers i'll take it with me and just drop it off at the post office or probably just leave it at the guy's front yard uh, as long as it's not fenced and it has no trespassing so i don't want to trespass on his property either so yeah guys so uh, be good samaritan merry christmas like i said uh, don't be a grinch you know um karma so you know what so be nice and hopefully this gives me some good karma for the holidays and all that stuff so for me to you guys merry christmas and like i said don't be a porch pirate um, don't steal other people's uh, packages I do have a camera um, all over my house so uh, it looks like someone just dropped it off probably thought it was my address but it's not so yeah thank you all right guys so good news I did deliver it and the guy was home he had definitely private property gated everything um, and he was just uh, I guess he saw me looking at his house or something. He came out and I was like, it was an older guy. I'm like, are you Doug? He said, yeah, and delivered it. He was really happy, and I told him Merry Christmas. He said Merry Christmas. So that's why we do this. Bye.